Hi Catsters, Crystal here and today I'd like to share a bit of a story time as well as a product recommendation and my experience with it and how it's been working for us after what was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. So to kick things off, I'm the cat mom to Ivy. She's around two years old and she is an outdoor indoor cat so she's free to explore outside. She's very adapted to being outside. She loves it outside. Um, she loves running around, climbing trees, investigating things. Um, and yeah, that's how she's been raised for the majority of her life. But she is also very set in her routine. As we all know, cats love their routines and any sudden changes to them can cause a lot of stress and anxiety. So her routine is basically wake up in the mornings, go outside and then every hour or so she would come to kind of check in on me. Um, I usually sit here working and she will come and join me on her cat tree or we'll just get a little bum pat and then she's on her way again. And she usually, like I said, checks in every couple of hours, but when it's dinner time, she is always here. She will not miss dinner time. I think we can all agree that cats are very serious about their food so usually when dinner time rolls around she's here she beats me to it almost every day <laughs> she's sitting there waiting one day it was last year in december dinner time rolls around and she isn't here and i was like okay that's a little bit strange i wonder what she's doing i go outside i look like a typical crazy person with the pss, 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 and I try to listen out if I hear her little bell and I don't hear anything. There's no sign of her. So I'm like, okay, let's not, let's not expect the worst straight away because that is what I tend to do. And I was like, okay, she obviously just found something interesting somewhere that she's busy with and she will be here in no time. So the evening passes, I stay up all night waiting for her. The next morning, there's no sign of her. And that's when I was like, okay, time to stress. And that's when the search began. So we live in a complex. There's around 70 to 80 units and it's a very nature-esque complex. So there's lots of gardens, lots of trees, lots of bushes. There's a little dam, a little park area. So it was a lot of ground to cover. So I searched high and low the entire day. I could not find her. There was no sign of her, no, no sound of her. Um, I thought maybe I'll find her collar somewhere because she wears a breakaway collar. So I thought maybe she got stuck somewhere. Yeah, but anyway, no collar, no ivy, no nothing. So the day draws to an end and I am just beside myself with worry. Um, and honestly, I blame myself because I think, you know, as a cat owner, if something happens to your cat, you automatically place the blame on yourself because you are the one that took up the responsibility of taking care of them and keeping them safe. So when something happens, it's natural to think that it was your fault. So I was straight up not having a good time. Um, I had to take off from work. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't eating. I was just like, where is Ivy? Nonetheless, I still hung on to the hope that she will just come strolling in and be like, hey, what's wrong with you but that didn't happen so eventually i started driving around the area in the neighboring like streets and checking to see if maybe she wandered off a bit too far um, but she's never done that before so i didn't think that was the case but nonetheless i left no stone unturned i walked through the entire complex multiple times a day um, with her cookies usually she comes when i shake her little cookie I think people were getting pretty pretty sick of seeing me with the cookies and basically the entire day. <laughs> At this point, it was day day two or three. Yeah, I was really struggling. I was absolutely heartbroken um, and I didn't know what to do. That's when I found this company or organization, I should say, on Facebook that basically have search dogs or scent dogs and the dogs are trained to be able to find lost pets like cats or dogs so i was like okay reached out to them um told them the whole story they were like okay they can come that night so that night they showed up it was quite late it was around um 
10 o'clock at night or 10 30 and i met the dog i met the people very nice people very cute dog so we walked through the entire complex we went across the road we were in the neighboring streets with the dog and there was no sign of her the dog didn't pick up anything and we had to call it a night eventually at midnight because the wind was starting to pick up and obviously that's not ideal according to the people for the saint and the staff so they were like okay cool they're gonna come back the next day and we will do it again so i was like okay cool um but then the lady also told me that sometimes when they search for the cats with the dog, they can kind of, the cats can kind of sense that something is looking for them because the dog is essentially hunting the cat. And sometimes the cat will come home later that night because they had a fright because of the dog looking for them. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. Um, honestly, I was willing to believe anything at this stage. So the next day rolls around and i let them know hey the weather is looking so much better today any chance you guys are able to come out today unfortunately they had had an incident during the night where their car broke down and they were looking for alternative ways to get around i was like okay please let me know in the meantime my search here did not end i was still walking around looking for her everywhere from top to bottom basically the entire day driving around. Um, I had flyers printed and I posted them everywhere that I could. I put them up at the complex gates. I went to the local veterinarians. I gave them the flyers and no one had seen or heard anything. Yeah, I was starting to think maybe someone took her. Um, that's always the thing that your mind does in situations like this is you always expect the worst. And when nothing starts nothing turns up you start thinking about crazy scenarios i was thinking maybe she accidentally got into someone's car and they left with her our neighbors were in the process of moving i was thinking maybe she got into one of the boxes and she's halfway down to the coast by now um there was even a man in the complex that was highly suspicious according to me and i thought maybe he did something with her yeah it was very stressful very intense um and i just couldn't understand how this was happening so long story short um the organization didn't end up coming out again i think i basically got scammed in a way by them um obviously not by the dog the dog was good at his job <laughs> but the people behind it were just um really not as empathetic and didn't have the sense of urgency that i thought this situation needed so yeah at this point it was day four and um i was starting to think okay maybe you know she's lying somewhere and she's very small or not very small but smaller than the average cat and you won't easily be able to see her so i thought maybe she's laying somewhere i'll never be able to see her um if i were to drive or walk past or anything so yeah, I was starting to expect um, the worst and thinking that I will never get closure. At this point, I was starting to think more about, you know, if someone did take her, I would just like to know that she is safe and warm and fed. Or if the worst did happen, I would just like to know because not knowing is, it really, it really eats at you. Um, so, yeah. On day four, I had a shower and my fiance came home and I told him, okay, well, I'm just going to go do my daily rounds. Um, and he came with me and we walked through the entire complex again, nothing. And then we got to our front door and we had like a little garden that we had planted recently there. And we were looking at the progress of the garden and checking out the weeds and the flowers. Yeah, we both cried. <laughs> um, it, just, it wasn't a good time. So while we were busy doing that at the front door, we spotted like movement in one of the yards of the houses across the street. So our complex, there are a lot of cats in the complex and the house across the road has a very unkempt, um, bushy garden. 
And I have seen some of the complex cats go in there from time to time to explore. There's no one living there or there seems to be no one living there. So we spot movement and we're both like, okay, let's go check it out. So we go across the road. We're standing there. We're talking. Suddenly we hear this very distressed mowing. And I look at my fiance. I'm like, listen, that is Ivy. I'm sure you guys would all agree. You would know your cat's mow anywhere. Um, it's kind of like it's imprinted in your brain. That is your cat's mow. And he's obviously trying to keep me calm because I am like, we have to go right now. We have to figure out where it's coming from. We have to somehow get there. We eventually realize it's from the house next to the unkept house. And in their backyard, there are lots of trees, in particular one huge one. So we're like, okay, we need to get into this yard legally. <laughs> so um, oh, also, Ivy has decided to grace us with her presence for the last bit of the story. So we go around to the house's front gate and luckily the people were home. Uh, we're looking very suspicious. I'm in my pajamas. I'm not looking my best. My hair is wet. I look like crap. And we're like, listen, we need to um, we need to come into your yard and I need to check if my cat is there. And she was obviously like, no, <laughs> which is understandable. You can't really open, you know, just let anyone into your house these days. But at that point, I was freaking out and I was basically ready to throw hands um <laughs> but anyway she said she'll go check for us and she'll come back and let us know if she sees anything so i'm like okay i'm standing there i'm waiting it feels like forever eventually she comes back she's like listen i think it's your cat in our tree and we're like okay she eventually lets us come inside um we look into the tree and there she is sitting she was sitting all hunched over and she saw us and she heard us and she tried to come down the tree but i think after four days of just sitting in the same position without food or water she was obviously she just couldn't come down by herself. So a whole rescue mission ensued. There were ladders involved, people climbing into the tree, trying to get her. Eventually we got her down and I was just so happy. I cannot even put my relief into words. We came home, I gave her food. She basically inhaled it. She drank water and she slept for basically almost like a day straight. Uh, she was very skittish. Every noise, she was like, what is that? But I was just so happy to have her home and so happy that the whole ordeal was over. And um, yeah, I just knew that I couldn't go through something like this again. Um, it was very traumatic for me and also for her. She's had a couple of medical issues after the whole incident and um yeah it was just not a great thing to go through and i was very happy that it was over so naturally the next step is to try and see if you can find something to avoid something like this from happening again and that is where the product review part of this video comes in So just to give you guys a little bit of visual aid um, to understand kind of the area in which this whole story unfolded um, I created this very artistic <laughs> illustration. Um, so you'll see our unit down at the bottom. That's where we live. Uh, then it's a little complex road and then the complex barrier. And then the actual road road. And then across from the road is the super shady um, looking house. And next to that is the house on the corner with the big tree in their backyard where Ivy was found after the whole four day excursion um i do wish that we lived a little bit deeper into the complex but unfortunately that just isn't possible at this moment in time i would have liked the cats to not even know that there is a world outside of the complex but it is what it is um so yeah i hope this helps you guys understand the story a little bit better and um yeah so we're gonna be going on a little adventure I'm going to take you guys to the real life place where all of this went down. So let's go. So right here across the road is the shady house that I mentioned 
a couple of times where no one lives except for in the backyard, which is a bit weird, but none of my business. <laughs> This is the spot where she enjoys chilling as of late because it's been so hot. I think it's like nice and shady. Um, as you guys can see, there's quite a lot of ground to cover and it also goes further down. So searching for her was no easy feat. <laughs> Okay, bye. Um, so here is the house on the corner and that tree peeking out at the top over there. That's where she was found. So yeah, literally not even a minute away from where we live is where she was for four days and I almost died <laughs> looking for her. So I know that there are tons of options out there these days like GPS tracking collars and stuff like that but in my case I just wanted something that was going to be able to arrive as soon as possible and that was also not going to break the bank. So I've seen a lot of people use air tags for their pets and just kind of clip them to little holders on their collars. So I thought let's try this. It's the Galaxy Smart Tag to. It arrived the next day and it was about $24. As soon as it arrived, we strapped her up and we set it up on my phone. There's an app for it. And I must say, I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm not sure if that's actually what this was made for, but it does the job. So it lets me know when she's close to me. For instance, right now she's over there. So I'll show you guys on the app what it looks like when she is in the vicinity uh, it shows up with a little green circle and you know that she's close and the peace of mind that this little tag has given me is just unmatched um, i check it every single day almost every hour if not more um, especially she takes like a bit longer to come home i'm like okay cool it's fine check on the app and the nice thing about the app is it connects to the tag when you are, for example, walking outside and you're close to her, it'll connect. And it's kind of like a little game. <laughs> it lets you know when you get super close to it. It lets you know when you're moving the wrong way, when the signal gets weaker. I'll also um, insert a picture of what that looks like. And the cool thing also is when she's not close enough to me that it picks up, the signal pings off of other people's Samsungs. I don't know the correct technical terms for this, but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. So if she is, for example, like two roads away, two roads down, and there's someone there with a the Samsung, the app will let me know that she's just been spotted by a nearby device and it'll give me her exact location that I can then navigate to with Google Maps. It does the job, definitely. I'm so, so happy with it. She's been in the rain with it. She's been rolling around in the dirt. She's been through the most with this tag and it's still on and still working. The battery life is also something I was very impressed with because when I was reading the reviews, I saw that people said the battery doesn't last as long as they say it does. But it's been about, I would say, two months that she's had the tag and I haven't once had to replace the battery so that's amazing. Uh, the one downside I would say, um, like all or most technology, sometimes there are glitches. Uh, the other day I was driving to the gym and it's quite a ways away from where we live. And when I was at the gym, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't see her before I left the house. Let me just quickly check where she's at. And I almost had a heart attack when I saw or thought <laughs> This cat traveled behind me all the way to the gym and it showed that her tag was in the location where I am now. And I was like, that is simply impossible. Uh, I freaked out and I called her, um, but sh she wasn't there. And then when I got home, innocently lying on the couch and I was like, how did you get there and back? 
and beat me and I'm in a car. So at the end of the day, I came to the conclusion that it was just a glitch um, and that the the app thought that she was in the same location as my phone. So sometimes that does happen, but I mean, not a biggie, not a super biggie. Um, yeah, that's just something to be aware of, but I would definitely, I would highly suggest this little thing or an Apple AirTag, which I assume works in basically the same way. If you don't necessarily have the finances or the means of getting one of those fancier um, GPS trackers or collars. And the nice thing about it is it's also very small. It's It obviously looks a bit weird, but we zip tied it to her collar so that it's like sitting like this instead of like dangling around. And it really seems to be working. We got one for her brother as well, who is also a cat. <laughs> and it's saved us so many sleepless nights just being able to like check where they are at the push of a button. So yeah, some, down some downsides, but also the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Yeah, nothing similar has happened since. If there are times when I look on the app and I see that she's a bit further away than she usually is, I get on my shoes and I go and get her. Um, I think she's also a bit traumatized from the experience and she hasn't been back across the road since then. So all in all, very impressed. It definitely does what it says it's supposed to do. And I would definitely recommend this to any cat parent that wants to keep tabs on their cats in an affordable and mostly accurate way. So yeah, guys, that's all from me. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I hope that it is able to help someone out there one day that went through or is going through a similar thing. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. We post new cat care videos every single week. And we also have tons of informational content already up on our channel that you can check out.